The video you're about to watch is either sponsored by and by to funded by the viewers and features products that were either failed, provided, or bought and carefully snuck into the house under the cover of darkness. Hello! Has your gig or recording session ever been rudely interrupted by this noise? Well, that, my geeky friends, is Ground Hum, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to get rid of it using this, the Ground Box from Harley Benton. <laughs> Ground hum is one of those unwanted noises that can ruin any performance or recording session. And if you're outside of the US, you'll experience what's called 50 cycle hum because it's running at 50 hertz, this very low buzz. If you're in the US, it's called 60 cycle hum, which is one of the worst things I've ever experienced. So the unwanted signal we're talking about is very, very low. It's not this hiss that you might get from gain pedals. It's the low frequency that's being caused by something wrong with the electricity. Now, some of the best gigs I've ever played in my life have been at back alley toilet dive bar gigs, and they've been so much fun. However, sometimes the setup of those gigs has been absolutely phenomenally bad because there's a hum coming from somewhere. And sometimes we had no issue but to just go on and try to ignore it. Um, the worst thing that would happen actually is when you're singing through a mic and playing guitar that's on a different circuit, and you get that electric shock. Now, I'm not saying the Harley Benton ground box fixes that problem, the electric shot problem, because I haven't tested that. However, in this video, I'm going to show you how to get rid of the noise through your amp using this, which, good news, costs 15 euros or thereabouts. So I will plug it in. I will show you how to use it and, um, and the sound with and without. In the box, you get the ground box itself, which is this micro pedal size device, and one of these cables, which is a cable I've never seen before until I made this video. Um, so this is a banana plug, and this is a European plug. So the Harley Benson one is uh, based, of course, in, in Germany, so it's a European plug. I don't know if they do a UK one or a US one, but you could get an adapter to fix this. All that does is plug into a socket and or power strip. So first thing I'm going to do is that opens up like that. I'm going to plug the bananas thing in there and then tighten it up like so. That's then tight. Uh, you can also plug it in there, but I prefer to, to go with that one so it's completely um, stuck there. The second thing you do is plug that other end into a, I've got a power strip here because I, I don't want to go behind my amps to the wall. So now we're plugged into the mains. Then somewhere in your circuit, somewhere on your pedal board, not in between the amp and the cab. So somewhere where it's line signal. So I'm going to go uh, guitar into tuner and then tuner into the ground box and then into the rest of my rig. Here is the power strip that I just plugged the ground box into with that cable. Now I've got my tuner here and I've chosen one of the worst cables I have in order to try and create the worst ground uh, hum that I could. That's going to go from the tuner into link one and then out of link two into my battery powered amp. There we go. Now I've got one of these, which is the worst cable I own. It's a cable that came with a very cheap guitar that I should have thrown away a long, long time ago. But here it is. It's one of those naff, horrible, molded plastic things that you shouldn't own. But I had to put it in because I don't have ground hum in my studio because I got good cables. So that's now going to go to the input of the tuner, like so. Tuner powers up. The other end of that cheap, nasty cable goes into my guitar, my JT300 from Jet Guitars. Amp is on. Now, if I unmute this, there will be no ground hum. Uh, it's not going to sound great because it's just the Katana Mini, but here it is. There is a noise there. But that is not hum. Let me unplug the ground box and uh, you'll hear what I'm talking about. So that's, hang on, better to turn, keep that turned on. This is so weird for me. So, man. Plug it in, quick, go in. Here's a rather crudely drawn diagram that illustrates how to plug in the ground box. So the signal's coming out of the guitar and into the tuner, out of the tuner and into link one of the ground box, out of link two and into the amp. 
Instead of going into the amp, you could also go into your effects pedals and then into the amp. Don't forget to plug in the yellow and green cable into a mains socket. Just choose the one that makes the ground hum go away and is a safe socket to use. Just to prove that it's not the guitar, here is my Fender Custom Shop Tele, which also has single coils, but then we'll do humbuckers as well. So please don't blame the rather affordable JT300. Here is a Fender Custom Shop Tele. I was gonna say Tele Star Guitar, but it is actually a Tele. Right, noise. <laughs> Get in. So, the custom shop telly also does it. Let's see if a humbucker makes a difference. And then unplug the ground box. Plug it back in, it's fixed. Ooh. There's not really much more to say about the Harley Benton ground box, except that I think it is one of the most useful tools that probably gets overlooked. There are other ways to fix ground loops, of course, and if you can fix them properly, then please do, because apparently this, this ground box affects your tone ever so slightly in, in the mids. But um, I, I don't think it's really, really that uh, problematic. But I know that I'd rather have a tone which has ever so slightly less mids than a tone that sounds like this. Oh. Yeah, apologies for the noise in this video, but um, it's kind of necessary. So if you are a guitar player, which you may be because you're watching this, it also works on bass, of course, and any other sort of pickup based instrument. Um, I really think you need one of these. The beauty is you can just keep this on your pedal board if you need to, and then only plug it in with this, with this mains cable if you have an issue, uh, or keep it in your gig bag, or keep it wherever, somewhere. If you're a sound engineer, then surely you should have one of these because guarantee you're going to be working with people that have issues. This won't fix a problem if you have a crappy cable or a problem with your guitar's grounding uh, signal inside. However, if it is caused by just having either a battery powered amp and something plugged into the mains, or however you're causing your ground hum, get a ground box. Get it now before you actually need it. Public service announcement from me, Andy Ferris. You're welcome. The best way to fix a ground hum is to fix it at source. So if you're recording, then plug your recording device and computer and amp all into the same plug socket, if that's possible. If you're at a venue that, where it just isn't possible, for some reason you can't do it, then the ground box could be for you. What do you think? Let me know in the comments section down below. As I said, comments, it means we're at the end of the video, which means you have earned your place, rightfully so, in the end of the video club. And to prove that you are a member of this prestigious elite, when you leave your comment down below, please also include the phrase, 60 cycle hum sucks. And then I'll know that you did make it to this part of the video and that you agree with me. All right, thanks for watching. If you want to buy the ground box from Harley Benton, you can click the links down in the video description. They are affiliate links, so I do earn a little kickback. Whilst you're with me, you might want to stay with me by clicking one of those videos over there, or indeed leaving a thumbs up on this video to let me know that you liked it. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.